Hello everyone. My name is Tong Wu Yu. And I will teach econometrics class in summer. In addition to teaching econometrics, I will also talk about investment. It depends on the situation of the summer. If the COVID-19 is very big problem and if I cannot visit Japan, then I will mainly focus on investment part because online class is in some sense more difficult to focus. So last year, I taught something about investment on stocks and investment on real estate, those kind of things. But if COVID-19 problem is relaxed and if I can visit Japan during the summer, I will more focus on econometrics. This one requires more mathematics and more statistical knowledge. So if I can visit Japan, I will mainly focus on this econometrics part, but the plan is contingent. So if it's difficult to visit Japan during the summer, and if I mainly focus on this kind of online teaching, I will basically teach some econometrics and statistics, but I will mainly focus on investment part if I teach via online. I think it's my personal opinion when I teach something about investment, my students, they focus more because investment is very important and something more realistic for the students. I think online teaching should be focused on how students can focus on my teaching. Especially nowadays, the stock market is very hot. So in case of the stock market, or you may be interested in something like Bitcoin. Those kind of things, anyway, some kind of econometric knowledge or statistical knowledge is very important. I have no idea what I will focus during the summer at this moment, but let me talk a little bit more about econometrics teaching plan. If I teach econometrics during the summer, I will mainly first, in first case, I will focus on variance part. So I will very carefully explain about the concept of variance. This is something very important and the core concept in econometrics and statistics. After teaching the meaning and intuition of the variance, I plan to teach some kind of econometric technique called OLS. OLS means ordinary least squares. This is the basic data analysis technique in statistics and econometrics. So this technique is really, really, really important to analyze the data for making a prediction, trying to find out the relationship between two variables, such as real interest rate or interest rate and stock price, those kind of things. To analyze this kind of data, the first starting point is OLS. For example, the main purpose of OLS 
is basically rhyme fitting. So when you think about this kind of graph, this is y-axis and this is x-axis, and you have some kind of data point like this. Then OLS allows us to find a kind of line that best represent this kind of data. That's why this technique is so important. And the variance is one of the main concepts in this technique. This kind of technique, when you think this kind of thing, such as the stock price, and this part may be some kind of factors that is related to the stock, then you can find the relationship between two of them. Probably I can say this is stock price. This is the dividend. The basic theory of the stock price says that stock price is the function of dividend. Dividend means as the partial owner of the company, the stock owner, they can share or they can get some profit of the company. Usually every three months, Google or Tesla, they give some kind of dividend the share of their profit to the investors. When the dividend level is high, stock price is generally high. When the dividend is low, stock price is generally low. For the relationship, some firms, it does not follow this kind of relationship. Other firms, they directly follow this kind of relationship. So in analyzing this kind of financial data, you may need this technique, line fitting or OLS. Anyway, a lot of terms in the stock investment or real estate investment, it requires statistical knowledge. So if I can visit Japan during the summer, I will teach mathematical part more. If I cannot visit Japan, then I will talk more about their investment. That's my plan at this moment. For the investment part, <clears throat> I will talk about my investment result. Last year, I did some stock investment and I made some money. I think I should have waited more, but I sold some good stocks such as Google, Netflix, or Amazon, those kind of stocks too early, I think. Anyway, I made some money, but I will show you my investment result first. And then you will analyze it. That is the starting point. Let's start with my real money, my real investment result. You will analyze it, you will run something about it. After that, for the investment, not me, but you will choose the stock that you want to invest. So for investment, you need to take care of a lot of financial information. In analyzing 
So financial information, you need some statistical knowledge. So that's why I plan to combine investment and econometrics class. Anyway, you need to see or analyze some financial investment. If possible, if your financial situation allows, I highly recommend to buy one stock, small amount. Then you will pay more attention. Let's say you bought a stock of Toyota. In that case, I found out that from my former student, they pay more attention. Basically, they check the stock price of Toyota every day. And then they begin to wonder why today's Toyota stock price increased or declined. Then they find some news about the company Toyota. And then they learn something more about real economy. That's the main plan for making you guys to pay attention to the investment. So choosing a stock and highly recommended to invest it will be the homework and extracurricular activities in my class. I will talk about how to analyze financial information with econometrics. Yeah, that's my plan. Let's run some econometrics. Let's analyze financial inf information with econometrics. Okay. And then if the time allows, I will talk about real estimate, real estate market, a house or apartment, those kind of things. So that's my plan. I think you guys are young enough. You need to live probably at least 50 more years. So having some kind of knowledge about investment, financial information, statistics, and econometrics, and getting some real investment experience in stocks or in the real estate market will be helpful for your future. Personally, I made some money through the investment. I am keep doing the investment and econometrics knowledge and financial knowledge was very helpful for me. The investment does not always guarantee a positive return, but in the long run, for living your long life, I'm pretty sure it will be helpful. So I will teach those kind of things in my class during the summer. I hope you guys join to my class Let's run something about econometrics and investment. Okay? Then, see you guys in summer.